This is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. We have this beautiful prayer known as the Magnificat, or the Canticle of Mary, or the Song of Mary, from the Gospel of Luke in Mary's visitation to her cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth greets her and says, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And she responds to Elizabeth's greeting with this song, this song of praise to the Lord. And the, the song gives us some really interesting things to meditate on or think about as we recite those words along with the Blessed Virgin Mary. Just to read the prayer for you or with you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. So one of the first lessons we can get from this prayer is that our souls should magnify the Lord. That's what magnificat means, right? Magnify the Lord. So we have to ask ourselves, what is it that magnifies the Lord, magnifies the Lord's presence in our lives, in our hearts? And then secondly, the translation we might we say, you know, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. So how can we proclaim the greatness of the Lord? How can we proclaim the Lord to others around us? That's one way of thinking about this magnifying the Lord, proclaiming the Lord's greatness. The prayer goes on, he has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. There's so many things that tempt us to want strength, to be mightier, to be greater than others. But instead, with God, we rely on his mercy. And it's the mercy that strengthens us. So we have to ask ourselves, how are we seeking humility and mercy over pride, strength. Because God is going to take down the people that aren't filled with pride. So mercy is greater than pride, strength, might. So we, we want to seek God's mercy, seek humility, rather than our own personal strength separated from him. And then finally, the prayer, these words conclude, He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Amen. How can we have a servant's heart? Not only do we seek God's mercy, do we seek to be humble, but we want to be God's servant. How can we serve him in our lives today? How can we look around to those who are lowly, who are hungry, who are in need, and serve them on behalf of the Lord. Those are just a few things to think about when you hear this prayer or recite this prayer, the Magnificat or the Canticle of Mary, the Song of, of Mary. Magnify the Lord in your life. Seek mercy, not pride, not strength and might, and seek to be God's servant. Go make disciples. God bless.